Okay, um, this is the Casio GPRB1000 Rangeman uh, with GPS navigation. I'm gonna show you the menu of this watch. I'm gonna show you the simple operation. Okay, this button is classified as A, B, C, D, and this one is a new one. It's the rotating switch, that's what they call it. So to access the mode, you have to use the C button. That's all the mode you have. Timekeeping, connect, compass, altimeter, barometer, sunrise, sunset, tide, stopwatch, so on and so forth. So, to enter the menu or the mode that you like, you just have to press this. So, it's timekeeping. So, it's the mode. So, say, say you want to go to the compass. Press this. It's your compass. And the A button is for the settings of the mode you are in so say you're in the compass mode so when you press the A button that's the setting so any mode you are in if you press this that's the setting and also the C button is the same button to go back see to go back And the B button is only for light. So if you press it, it's the light. And this is for navigation. So if you press it, that's your navigation menu. This is to go back. So if you press this long, like two seconds, it's a shortcut for navigation. This this button is for pan keeping mode. It's for the time keeping mode adjustment. So that's where your Bluetooth or it's how you that's how you want to adjust your time either by, by GPS or when you connect to the phone. And to go back you have to press this again. So if you're in the timekeeping mode, if you want to change the setting, remember this is the button for the setting. And then you choose display the screen and that's the setting where you want if you want the time and whatever you choose here to be on the uh, time display so if it's just the basic time you get the normal one so if you choose the time say time and navigation you click and it's all set so when you go back you have the time and navigation so you're in the timekeeping mode if you press this again 
that's the setting so display screen so if you want whatever setting you like you choose it if you want to go to the basic one it's just the basic one and you're back in it again so that's how it is easy it is and if you want it a lot easier the easiest way to do it is through the app see that's your app and to connect to the app all you have to do is press the C button So when you press the C button, you hold it, that's where it is, and then you see it's connecting to the app. And all you have to do is click here, and then choose the watch that you paired, and all the settings are there. So you can do the settings to the watch and also to the app. That's how easy it is. And to disconnect, you just press that and you're back. Press it again and you're in the timekeeping mode. It's very easy to use. Very easy, very basic. As for navigation, if you hold it, See, it's looking for a GPS, but I'm indoors, so maybe it's going to take a while. So I'm just going to cancel it. We don't want to waste time waiting. So that's it. It's easy. And it's a good watch too. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful watch. Once you hold it, you will feel the G-Shock, you know, it's, it's really look tough, feel tough, solid, heavy, that's the sensor. It's a beautiful watch, so if you have the money, buy it. Uh, I'm gonna show you how it looks like on the wrist on the wrist okay let's zoom out a bit Okay, if you have the money, don't think about it. not buying it. It's a good watch. It's a beautiful watch. That's the um, carbon fiber inserts. Okay, thank you.